So it's seven in the morning. It's earlier in the morning than I've ever woken up in a really, really long time. And that's because I'm actually going to do that hiking trip today at McRitchie. It's finally happening. Well, you won't actually see the hike in this video, of course. That's gonna be released later as a hiking video. There's hopefully quite a bit more bells and whistles. Yeah. This will be my first hike in a post-lockdown Singapore. kind of fell into a nap which is no good because I've actually got some work to do does the bed feel good I kind of think I may have sunburned myself a little bit actually maybe I should have gone to get some sunscreen so how was the hike I think I have a good few thoughts on it uh, as far as the hike itself goes the quality of the hike alone I'd say it's pretty good there's more variety than back in Bukit Timah. A lot of very wet and marshy terrain and that gives you opportunities to see some uh, rather interesting things. So there's more varied stuff. The length of the hike is also longer so it actually comes out to something of a workout. Plus, I kind of took quite a few wrong turns and that resulted in a lot of extra walking. Came up to about 10 kilometers in the end and after which I kind of collapsed which is kind of pathetic of me but the main thing is how hot it became near the end because near the end there were also parts of the trail that is not completely covered by foliage those were kind of hell like actual suffering that I would rather avoid at some point it became a genuine struggle between the part of me that wants to enjoy nature that wants to have an adventure and the part of me that's just being destroyed by the heat that is coming down on me at the end of the day, I'd say that it's still worth it, barely. You know, the suffering and the joys kind of clash and I think that, you know, the positives come out on top a little bit. But oh man, was it close. Hiking in the tropics is always a risk in this particular department, right? So in a departure from my usual thing, I actually did all of my filming using this new short tripod instead of my usual uh, more regularly sized one that is half broken so the result may end up looking more interesting I think there are more uh, there are less static shots where it's just a tripod trained upon a scene not sure how that's gonna come out 
in the end, but we'll see. So it's the middle of July now, and I missed out on making a hiking video last month. But I think we can aim to get one out this month. So we'll just have to work on it. Hopefully by end of the month, this video will be out. So I don't usually pre-plan for dinner. It's like it's dinner time and then I decide on the fly what I want to eat. But I have something in mind today. There's this clay pot chicken rice stall that has always looked kind of good to me. But for whatever reason, I've put off trying it for the longest time. So that'll be the menu tonight. We're gonna go have some clay pot rice.
But that was actually pretty good. A lot of flavor in the rice. And something that I really appreciate is that the chicken was not overcooked. So it was very juicy and tender, which is, I think, pretty unusual for clay pot rice. So good job on that. That was worth it. The wait was pretty long though. Man, my hair is pretty long now, and I gotta say, it's starting to get a bit uncomfortable and inconvenient. I was planning to get it cut when I get back to KL, but it turns out that uh, the target date for the periodic commuting arrangement to kick in is 10th of August, which is like two or three weeks from now, so I'm not sure if I can wait that long. I may just decide to just I don't know, find a haircut place and get a simple haircut first. Get this into a more manageable state and then maybe get the rest of the job done when I get back to KL, I don't know. But yeah. It feels pretty good to be in post-lockdown. It's very nice to see, you know, kids outside playing again and, you know, people gathering in restaurants and in hawker centers and stuff like that. It feels comforting, right? At the same time, it's kind of scary because a lot of countries are starting to reimpose their lockdowns because, you know, second waves and new surges of infections. So I think I understand why the authorities here are being extra careful, you know, with opening their borders and everything. So hopefully the situation remains under control. I think that, you know, the contact traces here are very, very competent. So. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this week. I am hoping to be able to start doing some work on a hiking video as well. We'll see how that goes. Either way, I'll see you guys next week. Okay, crap. This is the wrong way. That's the golf resort. That is the way towards McRitchie Reservoir Park. Also, I think Oh no, this is not the trail. That is... Oh man, time to go back. I'm not too tired. But this temperature is not to my liking. Man.